the next thing I want to do here is just set up the units of measurement. So if I press the N key for the properties shelf, you can see here with the cube selected, my dimensions are two by two by two. These by default are blender units. Now they do match up pretty well with the metric, but we need to turn on metric just so we know what we're working in. So I'm gonna come up here to the scene tab and down here under Lent, I'm gonna switch this to metric. You can also switch it to Imperial if that's what you're working. But for this course, I'm gonna be using metric. Just click that in. And you can see now we have two meters by two meters by two meters. Okay, so there's a couple more things I just wanna quickly run through. I'm gonna press one for front view and I'm gonna press five just to come into orthographic and that way I can see the grid running across the screen here. So I'm just gonna zoom in here. And actually, if I just zoom back out slightly, you can see that up here on the top left-hand side, it says meters. Okay, that's just the zoom range. It's telling you what you're seeing on screen. If I zoom in, that updates to 10 centimeters. So our cube is two meters in length. That two meters is equal to two grid divisions, as you can see here on screen. So each grid division represents one meter. And if I zoom in a little bit closer, you can see that each grid division then is broken down into 10 smaller grids. And again, if I zoom in, they're again broken down into millimeters. And it's very useful to get measurements and get placements. The other thing I wanna quickly look at is this snapping tool down here. Okay, it's called Snap During Transform. And if I switch it on, this list here gives you a list of options. By default, it's set to increment. So we're just gonna leave it at that for the minute. And if I press G and drag over, you see it snaps in increments of centimeters. So I'm just gonna right click to cancel. Up here, you can see what zoom range you're at. If I zoom in here to millimeters, for example, and press G, it's gonna snap across to millimeters. It's gonna right click. And again, if I zoom right out to meters and press G, it's gonna snap to meters. So that's kind of useful. The other thing I find kind of handy is if you switch this off and you press G, but you press and hold control, you get that snap without having to actually have it switched on all the time. So I'm just gonna right click to snap that back or cancel the transformation. The other thing that's very useful if I come down here and switch this to either vertex or edge, I'm gonna switch, switch it to vertex. I'm going to press shift D to make a copy of this cube and just drag it over here and left click. So what I can do is press G and I can press X. And if I press and hold control to activate the snap, you can see we get this small orange circle. I'm just gonna right click and zoom in here so you can see that a little bit better. I'm gonna press G, press X to restrict it to the X axis, press and hold control. You can see we get the orange circle here. Okay, and that's snapping to these vertices on the corners. If I left click then that is lined up perfectly. And like I said, you can switch that to edges or you can switch it to faces. So if we have edge and we press G and maybe Z, that will snap to an edge here. Okay, so that edge there. So it's very useful for alignment and positions. And like I said, I normally leave it switched off and just use the control key to activate it. Okay, and that's more or less it then for the units of measurement and the snapping. I'm just gonna delete that cube. Okay, and that's going to do it for this one.